Hello and welcome to the Galaxy Tip of the Month. Today we're going to talk about Alma Pro maintenance and calibration. Maintenance and calibration should be completed regularly, at least on an annual basis. And the calibration, if you're using milk replacer, should be done with each new pallet. So to do your maintenance, contact your dealer and they can change out all of the hoses and review all of the pieces of equipment. But to do the calibration, you simply log in to your site manager and you go to your feeder. Here's where you can see all of the different settings. But to calibrate, go into the button beneath the feeder and the scale is your calibration button. You click the calibration button and it walks you through each of the components to calibrate. So if you are using milk replacer, you should come in and calibrate your calf milk replacer with each new pallet. You just click this button right here and it literally gives you step-by-step -step instructions. Be sure to have a scale and a scoop available to collect the milk replacer. Your detergents, your water and temperature can be calibrated when you do your annual maintenance. Another important thing is to make sure that you're deleting your wean calves. We don't have any wean calves on right now, but I do have some older calves. Uh, so this calf right here is going to be weaned in a few days. And once she is weaned, you can just go into her screen. She will be purple and you click on her information and the button here at the bottom will let you delete that calf. It's important to delete your weaned calves to make sure that you're making enough room for memory on the feeder. Otherwise, it will fill up your storage card pretty quickly. The last thing is to check your memory and make sure you're doing your updates on your feeder. Um, if you go to your home screen and you click your question mark button, right here at the top, it tells you what your version number is. Um, you can, again, ask your dealer to make sure that that version is up, updated as possible because the new versions work out bugs and also bring in new features. As you upgrade your feeder, it may be important to change out the memory card. The memory card um, lasts for quite some time depending on how long you are, how, excuse me, depending on how many calves you're feeding on it. And also if you're deleting those calves on a regular basis, then it will last quite a bit longer. So that's your tip. Make sure you're doing your maintenance regularly on your feeder and make sure you're going in and, and running that calibration at least um, with each new milk replacer change or on an annual basis. Have a great day.